Howdy. Wyo Russ here. I am driving to Raptor Fest. It's a place near Bozeman on the Bridger Mountains where there's birds migrating south. Lots of golden eagles. So I'm going to do that. Last night I made Chris a bomb dinner because I love him and he deserves it. Oh, it's been busy. We worked like 14 days in a row, so it was kind of nice to spice it up with something homemade. It was a really hearty meal, so it was like potato and white asparagus that I learned that you have to peel from this very nice guy at the grocery store. He's like, you gotta peel those or they taste bitter. And I was like, thank you. I've only really cooked green ones and white ones one other time before, but now I know why they tasted like shit. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this area is. Cause you can kind of see the back a little bit, but hopefully you can see the front. So hold on one second. I got the steak. I got the asparagus. I'm gonna add some mushrooms on the grill. I got some beer. Oh, the potatoes. Got potatoes. Turn the grill on. It's not raining no more, but it's still wet. It's what you do? It's pretty easy. Just turn the propane tank on. Get it going. I like to hear. I like to, for it to go. Poosh. Watch this. Let it run for a while. It's gonna be like. Poom. I wait a little bit longer than I should. It's. Whoo! Wow! Yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna try to get it to like 475. I'm gonna wash the potatoes in this bowl, and I'll dump the water and then wash the asparagus in the same bowl, and the mushrooms. Asparagus wash, then I gotta fill it. So you got to cut the ends off. You don't have to cut them off that far. You just cut them off like that. Some people do break them, but it actually wastes a little bit of them. They're washed, I'm gonna cut the little ends off. I'm gonna mix all my asparagus and my mushrooms in a bowl. I'm gonna put like an avocado oil on them and make sure that there's a layer, like a coating of avocado oil on all of it. Then I will salt and pepper it. The cool thing about avocado oil, olive oil is a low temperature cooking oil. Avocado oil is not. The oil on the asparagus and the mushrooms makes a coating. So when you put it on the grill, it keeps it from drying out. We love ourselves some salt and pepper. Why I'm cooking steak from our partner, because I love it myself. And I'm a good guy and I love them and I wanna treat them right. It's really how you cook it. Me, I like medium rare. I like it a little red. Chris, not so much. See that pepper on that steak? I use this, I think it's a broiling pan, I'm not sure, but it works well. Let's put them right there. Makes it easy having this pan. It's cast iron. And then I gotta make this special Sour cream, Dublin cheese, feta cheese sauce to go in the potatoes. First, I gotta put these on the grill. I'll do about like maybe five minutes on the steaks on each side. I got the temperature. So, it's perfect temperature. It's about 475-ish. And I'll just be stealthy and go boom. Like that. And then this whole pan is actually kind of nice. You can just stick it down right there. Shut this. Wait five minutes and flip them. Some sour cream, some feta, some shredded Dublin cheese. When cooking and not drinking enough beer. Make my own bacon bed. Put them in the oven, get them hot. They're already pre cooked because I cooked them. But then I just get them hot and then just stick them in here and mix them around and then stuff the potato with them. Time to go flip the steak. And check the asparagus as well. Ooh, that steak is looking, looking good. I'll flip this one and get the camera. I'll have to go grab a different one and I'll check the asparagus. You just poke through it and it's soft and kind of know it's done. So they are not done. I didn't think they would be. Probably I'll put the timer on for another five minutes. The homemade bacon bits are ready. Just stick them right in that little mixture right there. You can mix them around. 
potato stuffer is finished. Now I just gotta wait on the steak, the asparagus and mushrooms, load up the plates, load up the potatoes, fill the plates really full so it looks good on camera. Me and Chris started watching Zoo on Netflix. It's about these animals are turning on people and killing people and they don't know why. They no longer see people as friends. They see them as enemies. There's only one season. So far it's pretty cool, it's exciting. The asparagus is ready and the mushrooms. My steak's gonna be done. I like it medium rare or rare. Chris was telling me that there's a link between how you like your steak cooked and whether or not you're gonna have Alzheimer's. Sounds a bit ridiculous, but I guess you can find a way to twist statistics any way you want. It won't look done to me, actually. Those are fat steaks. Always turn your grill off. You don't want to waste the gas. Potatoes loaded up with the stuff. Top them off with some chives. Chris is on his way down. I can hear him. Let's see how he likes the food. Oh. Whoa, man, that looks good. That's beautiful. God. He's excellent in the kitchen. Which one's mine? So we're gonna go upstairs and watch. What, what are we gonna watch? I haven't told you. Uh, Zoo. I told you. That's what we're gonna watch. I just talked about it. Thank you very much for watching. Why are us? We's got to be eating now. Sell some meat. More than one kind.